Parshiyos, Behar, Vichu Koisai, Tov Shin Pei, Shabbos Chazak. We can honestly say, unbelievably so, that we gave all the Shiurim this year. In Seder Vayikra, we gave all the Shiurim at, uh, at a different location. Not at our regular Bikachalim of Lakewood Thursday night place. Due to this coronavirus, and we're hoping, we're hoping, hoping against hope that very shortly, and we seem to say this every week, but this time we really mean it, that very shortly we'll be back to giving our regularly scheduled shiurim with everybody being healthy. And the Torah tells us in the Pasuk, in this week's Parsha, in Parsha's, uh, Parsha's Bahar, we're going to give a little lecture tonight about honesty, about doing business, about being honest, saying honest things, doing honest things. You're doing a sale. You're buying, you're purchasing something. Don't victimize the other person. That's one Pasuk in the Torah. Then afterwards, the Torah tells us something else. The Torah tells us, ish es amisoi, That you should not harass your fellow man. Don't bother. Don't bother somebody else. And Rashi tells us that al toinu is referring to victimizing somebody in money matters. That when it comes to doing business, you're doing a financial transaction, that's what the Pesachos of Altoinu is talking about. Don't rip somebody off. Don't be dishonest when it comes to money matters. And Loisoinu is referring to bothering somebody or harassing somebody with words, antagonizing somebody. And we all know you could hurt somebody with words. The Torah tells you, don't do that. The Gemara Masech the Tomid Dav Chavches Amor Aleph tells us the following, and we are discussing. The Gemara there is talking about something exceptional that a person should do or that a person could do. What is considered an exceptional mida? Something for a person to actually take on and be exceptional. Rabbi Oimer, a zoyhi derech yishara. What is the straight path, something that a person should do? What's something that if you wanted to grab onto one Mida, you wanted to grab onto a Mida and do something very special, what should you do? And there's a Mishnah similar to this also right in Perkei And one opinion in the Gemara there is, Yachzik Be'emuna Yisera. And over here where we're talking about emuna, we're talking about honesty. Because Rashi tells us there, Rashi says that what the Gemara is referring to, this Mandi Amr that says, Yachzik be'emuna yisera, you know what he means? That yisa v'yitain in b'nei adam be'emuna v'lo yane es habriyos. Don't deal dishonestly. Deal, be impeccably honest in your business dealings and don't antagonize other people in the process. So Nisivah Shalom brings, Siva Shalom has a question over here on this opinion of the Gemara. The Gemara is asking, what should a person do to be considered like an exceptional chassid, someone who's exceptionally righteous? So this Mandi Omar says that you should deal in business honestly, and we would seem to be asking, what is something exceptional that a person could do? Something of Hasidus, right? But, uh, you know, there are many, many things that a person could try to pursue. There are many things that a person want to do. So we're asking, if you had to choose one, what should you choose? So, so this Mandi Amar, this opinion of the Gemara says, be exceptionally honest in business, right? But the Nesiva Shalom asks, isn't dealing honesty in business a chiv in halacha? Isn't halacha in the Torah? Doesn't the Torah tell you straight out you need to be honest? 
At first, people don't realize sometimes, they think that being honest is just something extra virtuous, something of being mitas achasidus. You know, it's being in business, that's what you have to do, right? But being honest in business, I don't know, maybe, you know, it's something very nice to do. No, the Torah tells you, you have to do that. So what is this Mandi Omar in the Gemara referring to when it says, if you want to do something exceptionally virtuous, go ahead and be exceedingly honest in business. Being honest in business is not extra credit. It's something you need to do. You need to do that. So Nesiv Shalom brings from the Torah Sa'avos who quotes a beautiful thought from the Kabrina Rav, the Tzuchus Yogan Aleinu. And he says like this, when we talk about being honest, different levels of honesty, and the Kabrina of the Tzuchus Yogan Aleinu says that we say every day in davening Emes ve'emuna Choik Veloy Yavor. We say it every day. I don't know if you notice it. Hopefully you're awake when you say it. After Krishna, right? In Al Rishonim. We say Emes Ve'emuna Choik Veloy Yavor. And the Kabrina says like this You know, many Midois depend on the time and the place and the circumstance of where you are at that moment. You know, there are times that a person needs to behave in one way. You can't say that a, a, a Midah, most of the time, you cannot say that a Midah is an absolute. Midah, actually, the definition of the word is measurement, right? Sometimes a person has to be one way. And at other times, in other instances, the, a different type of behavior may be warranted. Sometimes a person has to be a little stronger. Sometimes a person has to be a little softer. Sometimes this kind of media you have to do something that, and you have to know the situation that you're in. Of course, you always have to do it in a gentle way, and you always have to have a neimus in your midos. But the t- sometimes it is warranted that people have to do different types of ways and different types of measurements. But there are two midos, says the Kabrina Rav. There are two midos that need to be constant, that they never waver, and those are. Emes ve'emuna. Emes and, and emuna, we say every day in davening, they need to be choik v'lo yavor. Never think that there is a time and a place to be dishonest. No matter how much you twist it, no matter how much you think that t- this today is a little different, and the circumstances might be a little different. We're in the middle of a coronavirus. We're in the middle of a, a financially very difficult period of time. No. Doesn't matter what's being offered or what's out there, what the circumstances are. Emes ve'emuna, choik v'lo yavor. And that is why, says the Nesiva Shalom, we have the opinion of Chazal in the Gemara that says, yachzik ve'emuna, Yisera. It's a very important thing to know. The Yachzik Vemuna Yisera. To hold on to it, even sometimes when times are tough, even when circumstances are difficult, you still need Yachzik Vemuna Yisera. You need to hold on to that Mida and know that that Emes and Amuna never waver. And when Rashi tells us there in the Gemara, Sheyisa V'yitain Be'emuna, when Rashi refers to that man, the Amr and the Gemara, Rashi is referring to these two Yisaydais of Emes and Emuna. And you know what Emes, I'll give you an example of Emes. The Gemara Mesech the Makais, Daf Chav Dalet Omer Aleph, tells us what Emes is. It says like this, Rav Safra had an item that he, that he needed, that he wanted to sell. Rav Safra was selling something. And someone came to Rav Safra to purchase the item while Rav Safra was reading Krishna. So Rav Safra did not pay attention to the person. He did not answer the person when the person gave him an offer. So the purchaser was thinking, hey, listen, maybe my offer is not, uh, it's not a decent offer. It's not a good offer. Maybe that's why he's ignoring me. So the, the uh, prospective purchaser kept raising the price, raising the offer. How much more he's going to offer him? Maybe Rav Safra would pay attention to him. But Rav Safra did not pay attention to him yet. 
And when Rav Safra finished Kriyashma, you know what he said to the person who made the offer? He says, I want you to take the item for the original offer price. And I want you to know, because that's what I, I had in mind originally. When you came over to me and you offered me a price, I thought it was a very fair price, but I couldn't speak to you because I was in the middle of saying Krishma. So if in my mind I had made up that this was a fair offer, you may have doubled, tripled, you need the item, you were desperate, you offered me so much more. But no, honesty warrants that this is what I made up and this is what I had in my mind. So I would like to give you the item for the original price that you offer. And that is yachzik be'emunah, but not just emuna. Yachzik be'emuna yisera. That's what the Gemara is referring to. Not just the regular daily honest. We're talking about being exceedingly honest. When no one's watching. When things are tough. When there's a big challenge, when there's a Nisoyen, Yachzik Be'emuna, you say, and even though halachically it could be, it would have been okay for Rav Safra. I didn't consent, I didn't say anything, I didn't uh, assign anything, I didn't do anything. Halachically it could have been okay. But a person should be Doiver Emes Bilvavoy. What's in your heart is, is, has to be perfectly true. And it doesn't change and it doesn't be and it doesn't waver. A person needs to be impeccably honest and truthful. And it has to be real. See, Vishalom tells us something very interesting. You know, sometimes we're saying that people have to be honest, but what about how do we know that a person's really being honest? See, Vishalom says, the Pasuk tells us, like, Sisa as shame, Hashem elekech alashav. We know you're not supposed to use the name of a Kaddish Baruch Hu, for different things, the name of a Kaddish Baruch Hu is Kaddish. You're not supposed to use the name of a Kaddish Baruch Hu Lashav in vain. See, Vishon tells us a beautiful drush and a pshat on these words. Loisisa Hashem Alekecha Lashav. That a person should not use the name of Hashem to make others think that he's a bigger tzaddik. To make others think that a person is really a bigger tzaddik than they are. You know, some people... They use the name of Hashem and they talk a very from talk and they talk um, a very, they speak a very, a very high morals and high honesty and all of that when really they're just trying to make people think that they're like, see, so, Hashem, 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 you should not use the name of Hashem to make others think that you are actually more honest and more of a Yerushalayim than they are because that is part of being false and a part of being fake. A person has to be really honest. And you need to know that there is sheker in words, and there is also sheker in machshava. Not just in deeds. Sheker is in words and machshava also, where you could fool, where you could fool people in that way. And you should know there's a daka min hadaka. We all know that fine line of being a person. You know when you meet a person who is perfectly honest. There's a daka, there's a daka min hadaka of sheker, and we know we need to know that this too distances a person from a kaddish baruch Hu. Any amount of dishonesty, the pasuk tells us midvar sheker tirchak. So we take that always to mean that you should stay away from uh, something which is false, a lie. You should stay far away from it. Says in the Siva Shalom, Midvar Sheker Tirchak. A person has to know Midvar Sheker from a word that is Sheker, from a word of dishonesty, Tirchak. It distances you from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to be near people that are perfectly honest. Midvar Sheker. Any false word, any word that is not true that you say, Tirchak. It distances one from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the more MS one has, the closer one comes to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We need to be Mahadrin Min HaMahadrin when it comes to honesty. And let's learn the lesson from this week's Parsha. Let's learn that in Machshava and in Misa and in Dibor and everything, there's something called Yachzik Be'emuna Yisera. To be perfectly honest. And that should be a Zechus for every one of us, I wish you a wonderful and beautiful Shabbos.